The chairman of Anambra State Physical Planning Board, Mr. Chike Madwekwe, has dissociated himself and his office from an allegation of misconduct and undue request for inducement from an anicha based lawyer, Mr. Harold Ekwereku. Correspondent AG Cabinet reports that Mr. Madwekwe spoke during a press briefing at the board headquarters in Amobia. His report. Mr. Madwekwe, a lawyer, had accompanied the Joint Government Task Force to demolish structures considered as illegal, built on government land near Governor's Lodge on Nisha, designated as Anambra State Judges' Quarters. According to Mr. Madwekwe, after the exercise, which makes it the fifth time, the developer in question allegedly started sponsoring media publications against his person and office, alleging that he asked him for a plot of land as inducement. He called on the public to disregard such publications which he described as malicious while explaining that by publishing lies against him as a lawyer which contravenes conduct in the practice barrister madwekwe asked him to withdraw the said publication and publish a public apology or risk being served a court process in seven days we uh, we were asked to go that he had done it again that he had built the walls again this time around he blocked the government gates and put his own gate. We arrived in the place, saw that he had blocked, in fact, totally taking first out, including the, the, the building already built on the ground by the Ministry of Housing. Of course, we had to carry out instruction we were given to recover the land for government. When we arrived there, he put the uh, charms in uh, two big coffins, which I'm sure all of you have the visuals. And suddenly last night, I started getting calls from all over the world. Now, this man said that the reason I went to go and uh, demolish his house or his fences was because I asked him for a plot of land and he refused to give me. Let me put it on record. I have no personal interest in that land. He has resorted to blackmail and to tarnish my reputation. I, I used this opportunity to give Harold Ekureku, I give him seven days to retract what he has published and publish an appropriate ap apology. He will receive a letter today from my lawyers. Meanwhile, Mr. Ekureku claims that the land in question belongs to the Oposieke family of Obolieke village, Onisha, which automatically reverted back to the family at the expiration of a 100-year lease agreement with the federal government. According to him, the land is subject to a lease hold of 1910 and 1945 between the federal government and the Obosieke family, which yielded back to the family reversionally interest in 2009 and the federal government released back the said land to his family. He revealed that the federal government released the first one on the 13th July 2013 and later released the other in 2019. Despite efforts by the state government to establish ownership by a team of security personnel by removing structures considered as illegal for more than five times, the developer has continued to encroach on the land. Government of Anambra State under the Ministry of Housing had since commenced development on the site, notwithstanding the continued trespass on the land. Recall that last week, the tax force embarked on a demolition exercise of perimeter fencing on the land where the government issued a directive for the arrest and prosecution of the trespasser. From Onisha, AGK Abana, ABS News.